assigning freight cost to a container. So once you have packed your containers, you are almost ready to ship it to the customer using a freight carrier. But freight carrier will incur charges and those charges you would have to capture it in your system and maybe it's a part of the invoice that you would send it to the customer. So having said that, let's go into Oracle applications to understand where to capture the freight cost. So you can simply go and look at the shipping transactions form in the delivery lines. You can go to the actions and look for assign freight cost function. Hit the go button and you will reach at this place wherein you can give your freight cost details. So you've got to define your freight cost names first. So in this case, a couple of names have been already defined. So let's say UPS freight cost, if at all we are sending it by UPS as the courier, and then you can give an amount over here. So let's say the amount in terms of sending this freight is $110. And then if at all you're using any foreign currency, then you should provide the details of the conversion rate and the conversion date. Once you are done, save this record, hit the OK button and you can come out of this. Like Likewise, you can assign it to your different delivery lines separately. The second way in which you can assign the freight cost is at the delivery level itself. So that was the delivery line level, which are each associated with different orders. But if you've got just one order with multiple delivery lines, then you may not want to do this exercise again and again for each of the delivery line belonging to that particular sales order. So you can simply go to delivery and go and do the same thing. Go to actions and assign freight cost function, hit the go button and you can assign the freight cost at the delivery level. And as you could see, the freight cost assigned at the delivery line is also visible over here. So if at all I say the freight cost as say handling charges and give something here, say 140 is the total freight cost. And then I save this, it'll increment the freight cost. The other ways in which you can assign a freight cost is at the order line level itself. Some companies would simply like to create a separate order line which consolidates all the freight costs and they make that item as a bill only item and the workflow attached to that particular order line is of bill only item type. So that's another way wherein you can implement freight costs. But I would recommend that you rather go with this way at the shipping transaction level. This is the standard way of doing it within Oracle applications rather than coming out with your own procedures. But in the past, out of my own experience, I have seen customers using both the different ways of either giving the freight cost as a line at the order line level, which comes to the invoice or implementing freight cost at the freight cost shipping transaction level, which is a more robust solution than giving it at the order line level.